Matthew chapter 7 to 9. Don't judge, so that you won't be judged. For with whatever judgment you judge, you will be judged, and with whatever measure you measure, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but don't consider the beam that is in your own eye? Or how will you tell your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye, and behold, the beam is in your own eye? You hypocrite! First remove the beam out of your own eye, and then you can see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye. Don't give that which is holy to the dogs, neither throw your pearls before the pigs, lest perhaps they trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you to pieces. Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. To him who knocks it will be opened. Or who is there among you who, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, who will give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you desire for men to do to you, you shall also do to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter in by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who enter in by it. How the gate is narrow, and the way is restricted that leads to life. There are who find it. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravening wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do you gather grapes from thorns, or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree produces good fruit, but the corrupt tree produces evil fruit. A good tree can't produce evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree produce good fruit. Every tree that doesn't grow good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Therefore by their fruits you will know them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will tell me in that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name, in your name cast out demons, and in your name do many mighty works? Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. Everyone therefore who hears these words of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain came down, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it didn't fall, for it was founded on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and doesn't do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell in its fall was great. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the multitudes were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them with authority, and not like the scribes. When he came down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. Behold, a leper came to him and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I want to be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Jesus said to him, See that you tell nobody, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. When he came into Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking him for help, saying, Lord, my servant lies in the house paralyzed, grievously tormented. Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. Just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man under authority, having under myself soldiers. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and tell another, come, and he comes, and tell my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Most certainly, I tell you, I haven't found so great a faith, not even in Israel. I tell you that many will come from the east and the west, and will sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, but the children of the kingdom will be thrown out into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way. 
Let it be done for you as you have believed. His servant was healed in that hour. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her. So she got up and served him. When evening came, they brought to him many possessed with demons. He cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through Isaiah the prophet, saying, He took our infirmities and bore our diseases. Now when Jesus saw great multitudes around him, he gave the order to depart to the other side. A scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes and the birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, allow me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. When he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Behold, a violent storm came up on the sea, so much that the boat was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. The disciples came to him and woke him up, saying, Save us, Lord. We are dying. He said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the sea, and there was a great calm. The men marveled, saying, What kind of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? When he came to the other side, into the country of the Jajizines, two people possessed by demons met him there, coming out of the tombs, exceedingly fierce, so that nobody could pass that way. Behold, they cried out, saying, What do we have to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now there was a herd of many pigs feeding far away from them. The demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herd of pigs. He said to them, Go. They came out, and went into the herd of pigs, and behold, the whole herd of pigs rushed down the cliff into the sea and died in the water. Those who fed them fled and went away into the city and told everything, including what happened to those who were possessed with demons. Behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. When they saw him, they begged that he would depart from their borders. He entered into a boat and crossed over and came into his own city. Behold, they brought to him a man who was paralyzed, lying on a bed. Jesus, seeing their faith, said to the paralytic, Son, cheer up. Your sins are forgiven you. Behold, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man blasphemes. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Get up, and take up your mat, and go to your house. He arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. As Jesus passed by from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax collection office. He said to him, Follow me. He got up and followed him. As he sat in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are healthy have no need for a physician, but those who are sick do. But you go and learn what this means, I desire mercy, and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then John's disciples came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples don't fast? Jesus said to them, Can the friends of the bridegroom mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch would tear away from the garment, and a worse hole is made. Neither do people put new wine into old wineskins, or else the skins would burst, and the wine be spilled, and the skins ruined. No, 
They put new wine into fresh wineskins, and both are preserved. While he told these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. Jesus got up and followed him, as did his disciples. Behold, a woman who had a discharge of blood for twelve years came behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, for she said within herself, If I just touch his garment, I will be made well. But Jesus, turning around and seeing her, said, Daughter, cheer up. Your faith has made you well. And the woman was made well from that hour. When Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd in noisy disorder, he said to them, Make room, because the girl isn't dead, but sleeping. They were ridiculing him. But when the crowd was sent out, he entered in, took her by the hand, and the girl arose. The report of this went out into all that land. As Jesus passed by from there, two blind men followed him, calling out and saying, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They told him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it done to you. Then their eyes were opened. Jesus strictly commanded them, saying, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread abroad his fame in all that land. As they went out, behold, a mute man who was demon-possessed was brought to him. When the demon was cast out, the mute man spoke. The multitudes marveled, saying, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the prince of the demons, he casts out demons. Jesus went about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them because they were harassed and scattered, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest indeed is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore that the Lord of the harvest will send out laborers into his harvest. It's time to put on your thinking cap. Ready, set, quiz. Question 1. What does Jesus say will happen to those who judge others? A. They will be forgiven. B. They will be judged. C. They will receive mercy. D. They will be blessed. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B, Matthew 7 verse 1. Question 2. According to Jesus, why should you take the plank out of your own eye? A, to see and remove speck from brother's eye. B, to avoid hypocrisy. C, to enter the kingdom of heaven. D, both A and B. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, D, Matthew 7 verse 5. Question 3. What is promised to those who ask, seek, and knock? A, they will find. B, it will be open to them. C, they will receive. D, all of the above. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, D, Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8. Question 4. What metaphor does Jesus use to describe false prophets? A. Leaven of the Pharisees. B. Wolves in sheep's clothing. C. Thorns in the flesh. D. Whited sepulchers. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, B, Matthew 7, verse 15. Question 5. What are the two foundations Jesus describes in his parable at the end of the Sermon on the Mount? A, rock and sand. B, clay and stone. C, gold and silver. D, wood and iron. Now it's time to think. Correct answer, a. Matthew 7 verses 24 and 26. 
Question 6. What was Jesus' reaction to the faith of the centurion in Capernaum? A. He was amazed. B. He was displeased. C. He was indifferent. D. He rebuked him. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. A. Matthew 8 verse 10. Question 7. Whom did Jesus heal by simply touching her hand? A. A woman with a flow of blood. B. Peter's mother-in-law. C. A man with leprosy. D. A blind man. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 8 verse 15. Question 8. How did Jesus respond to the storm on the sea? A. He prayed. B. He rebuked the winds and the sea. C. He called for help. D. He was frightened. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 8 verse 26. Question 9. What did Jesus do when two demon-possessed men met him? A. He healed them immediately. B. He sent the demons to go into a herd of pigs. C. He turned away and left. D. He prayed for them. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 8 verse 32. Question 10. How did Jesus heal a paralytic in Matthew 9? A. By touching his hand. B. By telling him to rise, take up his bed, and walk. C. By making him wash in the river. D. By giving him medicine. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 9 verse 6. Question 11. What did Jesus say when he called Matthew to follow him? A. Believe in me. B. Come and see. C. Follow me. D. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. C. Matthew 9 verse 9. Question 12. Why did the Pharisees criticize Jesus for eating with tax collectors and sinners? A. They thought it was unlawful. B. They were envious. C. They considered it unclean. D. They thought it was inappropriate for a teacher. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. D. Matthew 9 verse 11. Question 13. What reason did Jesus give for not making his disciples fast? A. They did not know how to fast. B. The bridegroom was with them. C. Fasting was only for Pharisees. D. It was not beneficial. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 9 verse 15. Question 14. How did Jesus heal two blind men? A. By saying their faith has healed them. B. By touching their eyes. C. By a prayer of faith. D. By spitting on the ground and making mud. Now it's time to think. Correct answer. B. Matthew 9 verse 29. Question 15. What was Jesus' emotional response when he saw the crowds because they were harassed and helpless? A. Anger B. Compassion C. Indifference D. Confusion Now it's time to think. Correct answer B. Matthew 9 verse 36 I hope you found these 15 multiple choice questions both challenging and enlightening. Whether you nailed every question or discovered new areas to explore further, remember that each step in this journey deepens our connection with the word. 
If you enjoyed this quiz and learned something new today, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more Bible studies and quizzes like this. Sharing this video with friends and family not only spreads the knowledge, but also encourages others in their spiritual growth. Let's continue to learn and grow in faith together. Thank you for participating, and don't forget to like and share this video. Your support means the world, and it helps us to keep producing content that enriches and inspires. See you in the next video, and until then, Keep exploring the Bible and letting its truths transform your life.